Arachnophobia might be a foreign word to some. But simply put, it is a phobia brought by the fear of spiders. In 1990, a bunch of people decided to make a movie, a horror comedy movie, to be precise, named Arachnophobia. This movie was directed by Frank Marshall, his first time directing a movie, and was from a screenplay written by Don Jacoby and Wesley Strick. The movie stars Jeff Daniels and John Goodman. For those who haven't seen the movie, it is about a small California town that gets infested with spiders, not just regular spiders, we're talking of a dangerous and aggressive spider species capable of killing people. No surprise, the movie was titled Arachnophobia. For a movie like this to have taken place in the 90s, the majority of real-life spiders were used for the proper portrayal of the movie, including the largest spider in the movie, Big Bob. Big Bob? Yes, Big Bob. Funny name, I know. But where did it come from? The production needed two types of spiders. The first spider they required was an arachnid that traveled to California from South America. Their star spider, Big Bob, was named by Marshall, the director of Arachnophobia, apparently after American filmmaker Robert Lee Zemeckis. Big Bob was an Amazonian bird-eating tarantula that was genuinely frightening to look at and shockingly large. Only one of these spider species can be found in the U.S. Big Bob was terrifying all right, but apparently not enough to cause arachnophobia. Entertainment Weekly said that the producers painted purple stripes on Big Bob's back for the movie and added an artificial abdomen to Big Bob, giving him a more prominent look. According to the movie, after Big Bob arrives in California, he immediately mates with a house spider, leading to the birth of a superlethal spider baby. Frank Marshall and his crew analyzed several spider species through a Spider Olympics, which involved running each of the species through 10 tests. Out of these 10 tests included a speed test which was used to judge how scary it is, how good it is at climbing and the spider's reaction in a hot and cold environment. The spider species up for this evaluation included wolf spiders, huntsman spiders, and tarantulas. According to Marshall, the winner of this test was the 3 inch wide harmless Delena spider. Though harmless, this spider does not look like it. The Delena spider is a huntsman spider mostly found in Australia and was introduced in the 1920s to New Zealand. The production had to go through the stress of bringing 300 spiders to the US for the movie's filming, and apparently, that was just the initial shipment, as supplies were topped up every two weeks. While filming the movie, the safety of the spiders was of much importance throughout the production. For example, in the scene in which Goodman sprays an arachnid with insecticide before he squashes it with his boot, it is a fake spider that got sprayed, and for the squashing part, Goodman had to wear boots that featured a hollowed-out sole. And, of course, extreme precautions mean more time in shooting scenes. Like the part mentioned earlier that lasts just a few seconds in the movie took hours to shoot. It was almost like the spiders were more important than the actors. Jeff Daniels said that he was comfortable with small spiders but wasn't so pleased with Big Bob, considering its size and terrifying look. John Goodman, on the other hand, had no problem with the big fella. Special effects expert Jamie Heineman was good with him too and adopted Big Bob after filming was over.